Hey guys, turns out you guys have a lot of questions. So I'm here to answer a few of those things. So man, some of these uh, are kind of rough. So let's start off with this one right here. I got from DeAndre. He says, hello, I have a Civic Hybrid. Civic Hybrid. And I bought a K23 A4 engine and then went out and got a, a 2003 Honda Accord manual transmission. Over time, bought a bunch of aftermarket parts thinking I needed them, mostly to find out I don't need them. I bought EM2 Innovative Bounce. Whoops, EM2 is uh, probably actually the non-hybrid uh, with the D17. And turned out I don't have an EM2 and those are completely opposite from the hybrid. I'm getting mounts fabricated. Don't need to do that. Uh, but I'd rather know if I can buy any. Yes, you can. Anyway, it has the engine mounted in the car, uh, but it's poorly mounted. So let's, let's start off with the mounts before we go to the rest of the thing here. First of all, the mounts you wanna use when you have a hybrid car are the ones that we'd use for an RSX with an automatic transmission. So you're gonna use uh, for the um, passenger side mount, you're gonna use just a normal RSX engine, uh, engine mount and bracket. And of course, you're gonna need the RSX style uh, bracket over there if you've got a K20, and you're gonna need the CRV style one if you have a K24, which is what you have. So you need the CRV style bracket. You can also use Half Sports Universal K Series block bracket for that as well. Uh, now, for the transmission side, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, the automatic bracket that Hasport makes that bolts up on top of that frame rail over there. And then the mount you need for that is called a K24LH, okay? That mount actually works with your Accord transmission and your first gen TSX transmission. So that's the mount you're gonna need to go with that bracket. Uh, for the rear, uh, Hasport again makes a particular bracket that's specifically for that. And then you're gonna use the RSX subframe and an RSX rear mount. So uh, if you call or email Hasport, uh, they'll set you up with the mount, right mounts that you need for your hybrid Civic. Uh, but that's, you can buy all the mounts that you need for that. And then he says here, I have all types of ECUs, but none of them are RSX manual EC. I think I have an RSX Auto, a CRV Auto, and an Accord Auto 2003. Let's talk about the ECUs. Uh, because you have a hybrid Civic, the wiring's a little bit different, but the one that's most similar to is gonna be your RSX ECU. So let's go ahead and use the RSX Auto ECU. That can actually be modified by Honda. So you could have that ECU modified, then uh, you're gonna need to do some modifications to the E-plug uh, there at your computer, and uh, probably some wiring for the uh, secondary O2 sensor as well. I'm not really sure totally sure how it's wired on a hybrid, but uh, there's gonna be a few little... Aaron, didn't we do a video on uh, how to do the hybrid conversion harness? Yeah, for the 7th Gen For the 7th Gen Civic? Yeah, so check out our video on how to do that. We actually made a video on how to, how to do that along with a, a diagram. Uh, if you wanna uh, email uh, btech.academy at gmail.com, uh, I can send you a copy of that piece of paper that went along with it so you can make your own adapter harness to use uh, with that ECU. I think the only other thing that's kind of oddball about using the uh, automatic ECU that's been modified by Honda is you have to feed the vehicle speed sensor into the uh, ECU. Now, because you're using a cord transmission, that ECU, of course, pulses much faster, uh, but Honda, if you buy your, if you have Honda to modify your ECU, you're going to be able to use their internal circuitry uh, to get an output on B11 to actually drive your speedometer uh, to the right uh, to the right speed. So that's what I would suggest doing. You also talk about the conversion harness, but I already talked about that and the immobilizer bypass. You don't need to do an immobilizer bypass. Your, e, your, your hybrid has an immobilizer built into the, the system. So all you have to do is once you get your new computer in the car, is you need to haul it down to a Honda dealership or find somebody who's got a really good uh, tool for scanning. And you need to have the ECU reprogrammed to accept 
the immobilizer code that's with your stock key. So you'll actually won't have to give up uh, having an immobilizer. Uh, so that's what you need in order to get this thing to work. Uh, I hope that's answered your question. If you have, if that brings up more questions, I suggest you look at our hybrid video. Uh, there's some information there. Look at the hybrid uh, conversion video. There's some information there. So if you have more questions, why don't you go ahead and leave your questions in a comment below this video and uh, we'll see it and uh, try to do our best to uh, get the information you need to you. All right, uh, Dre, thanks a lot for uh, sending in that question. Anyway, guys, uh, we'll be back with uh, more viewer questions here shortly. Thanks for joining us. Please think about liking and subscribing. And uh, we are here to help you with your questions and uh, want you to have a successful swap. That's what we're all about here at VTech Academy, teaching you how to do it right. Thanks for joining us.